Hello and welcome to Tori and Tarot. In this video, I am going to be doing another journal entry. This time it is a visual representation of a dialogue that I created while working through an exercise in the book that I'm working through, Tarot Healer by Lisa Robertson. And we're doing that in my Healing with Tarot series. So for this exercise, the author then had us put our two significant cards side by side and create a dialogue between them. So for those cards, I have the Knight of Pentacles and Temperance. And originally, I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with this. I will link the video that I'm speaking of in the cards so that you can see what I had to say about the conversation between the two cards so that I'm not diving too far into that. But ultimately what I decided is they, even though they're both represented by the element of fire and both hold stable grounding energy and have similar keywords, it ultimately helped me choose the temperance card. The biggest one being time heals all wounds. I interpreted it as they're pretty opposite to each other, but they both want to get to the same destination. They just have different ways of doing it. So it took me some time to really decide how I wanted to visually represent everything that was going through my mind as I was comparing the two cards. And ultimately what ended up sticking out in my mind was the Six of Swords card. So that's what I'm pulling from while I'm creating this. And the reason that I ultimately chose the Six of Swords is because in order to move forward into that stronger energy and that stronger foundation of my chakra, I have to leave the way I was living behind. I have to leave some of the choices I was making behind and ultimately move forward into a happier, healthier, stronger energy. So this is me metaphorically moving from one energy to the next. And that's much like the Six of Swords. The figures in the boat are leaving a tumultuous situation. And on one side of the card you have, in the traditional Rider Waite Smith card that I'm pulling from, on one side of the boat is choppy water and on the other side is smooth water. So she's leaving that choppy energy and she's moving on to a much calmer destination. So that's how I ended up with the Six of Swords. I want to make sure I'm leaving the chaos in my, in my root chakra and make sure that it's smoother and stronger, if that makes sense. So I have the boat and originally I was gonna go with um, the brown and I decided I'm trying to incorporate at least red or the chakra symbol in each one of these journal entries that I'm creating. So. I ultimately decided to go with red for the boat because for this section of the series, the root chakra is my vessel and it's the energy of the root chakra that I'm trying to get to smoother water. So it made sense to have the boat represent that and have the boat be red. So I have that, I have the smoother water up top using those blue pastels and the yellow background to pull from the traditional Rider Waite Smith. And then you'll see a thin mountain range in the distance on the horizon. And I purposely put those in there because in traditional tarot, mountains represent challenges. This by no means is going to be a simple journey of working through a book or changing one or two things in order to get me out of the choppy waters that you see me creating on screen right now. It's going to be a lot of different hurdles. There's going to be setbacks. Things are going to come up as I'm working through this series. I know life is not just a simple straight line. So I have that symbolism built into this journal entry. And I think I'm getting better at translating these ideas into these simple journal entries because even though the art itself is simple and it has been for the last few that I've done, I'm really pulling on the way that the Rider Waite Smith deck was created and using that simple imagery to put in a lot of meaning. 
So that's really what I wanted to do here in the, these last few entries. I don't have to go into a whole detailed masterpiece to put my thoughts on the page, which in the past I feel like I had to. So I feel like I'm getting better in that aspect and I, I'm looking forward to see how this evolves over time. So that was my ideas behind the dialogue I created between my Significator cards. You'll see a more up close finished version of the picture on the screen so you can get a better look at what I created. And I hope that all of my ideas come across in this, in this picture. In the next video I will be creating a visual representation of the map of my foundation. So if you would like to see that and want to know when that goes up, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you are notified when it goes up. And until then, take care and be well.